F-E-A was the words used by Chairman of the Board, Mr. Tom Wagner. Fuck them all. All the doubters, all the haters, whether we're in the Championship or in League One. Birmingham, Wales, the new stadium and the whole state round it is happening. I've got three important questions for you as well in this video that I want to ask you, especially for the older generation of Blue Noses too. And also, I'm going to be reading out some of your comments. So stick around, Blue Noses. Let's get into it. What's going on, Blue Noses? How are we all doing? It is currently quarter to seven in the morning. I'm showered and all freshened up from uh, my night shift, and I did uh, make a promise to do another video when I got back in from work before I go to sleep. And um, yeah, the response I had from you guys was absolutely fantastic, as always. So thank you very much for supporting the channel. Um, I just love the club and I like to create some positive content. You now I'm really passionate about blues, and um, I'm just going to share the screen with you now just for a second. And if you like this channel as well, and you're new, and you love the blues like I do, then please hit the subscribe button, show some support. It is completely free, and it'll just notify you when I do some more videos. So this was the YouTube video that I uh, done yesterday. It had 1,200 views, so thank you very much for that. 51 likes and uh, 56 comments. We are going to be reading through all these in uh, in just a sec. But yeah. Um, Open house, start off with the positives, you know, we've got a lot to look forward to. It is a very, very exciting time to be a Blue Nose. And um, one of the questions I've got for you guys is, um, in comparison to Tom Wagner, i.e. Knighthead, how would you compare them to uh, David Gold and David uh, Sullivan? I'd really love to hear your... Uh, Thoughts and comments on that Blue Noses, especially the old generation around my dad's age or a little bit older. I'd uh, really look forward to seeing your comments on that. I was only a kid when they uh, took over. Um, yeah, uh, my other question for you guys as well is if Blues did get relegated into League One, I am 32. I've never seen Blues in my lifetime um, since I've been born go down into a league lower than the championship, i.e. the old Division 1. Uh, I think Barry Fry took Blues back up just before I was born or around the time I was born. So they bounced back up the following season with Barry Fry. And um, when I was talking to my dad about it, you know, he was saying that there was great times, great memories, and uh, he loved Barry Fry. So Blue Noses, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Do you think that Blues could bounce back stride away or do you think it's going to be like a bit of a, a bit of a fight to get back to the championship worst case scenario this is this is just conversation it's just topic it could potentially happen it might not happen we've still got four games to play but i just love gauging your comments and your thoughts so get your comments in and um we'll go through them uh let's have a look at the uh yeah so Birmingham Wales, yeah, it's all done and agreed. It is happening regardless whatever happens to the club, whether we go down or we stay up. Championship or League One, the project will begin. And also as well, the uh, upgrades to St Andrews will be starting after the season as well. So when we do come back, whatever league we're in, we'll be seeing some uh, big improvements to the current stadium at the minute. and. You know, he's spent billions on this Birmingham Wales. He's spending millions on upgrading St Andrews, even though at some point he knows it's going to be knocked down or sold on wherever else because he knows that this Birmingham Wales site and all this estate around it, you know, uh, food courts and everything else, is a massive money maker using the stadium 365 days a year. He is going to like quadruple his money maybe even more it's going to be insane so 
He's a businessman. Do your research on Nighthead if you haven't already. He's a very, very, very clever, successful guy. He knows exactly what he's doing, and Blues have longed for owners like this. So it is exciting. It's just a shame that the football isn't running uh, in line with what is happening. But yeah, we've got another big game coming up as well against Coventry. So my last question, Blue Nowsies, get your comments in, your thoughts and your uh, predictions for Saturday. I will be there. So to cheer the boys on. But yeah, Blue Nowsies, love to hear your thoughts and comments on that. Do you think Blues have got it in them to do one on uh, on Coventry or do you think we're going to draw or lose or... Yeah, get your comments in. And, uh, yeah, we're going to read your comments now off the uh, video that I posted yesterday to give you time to uh, reply. So we got Stephen. Our players are crap. Not even Pep Guardiola would keep them in the championship. Football edits. Jay, this is down to the players and the recruitment. January, we had the chance to improve the squad. We all knew that we short up top, short in defence. But what do we do? Go out and sign another three midfielders, an area where we are bloated and the decision to get long go was ridiculous. Based on the cover we had in the squad, the table doesn't lie. And we are where we are because the players simply aren't good enough or would rather pick their paycheck up and play for the badge. We ain't getting out of this no way and perhaps we need to go down to completely reset, get rid of 80% of this squad and start again. Supported the club for 50 years and for me, on the pitch we have sunk to a new low. Where was the fight last night? A game where we could have picked up points. Keep right on. So yeah, keep right on. And um, yeah, I wasn't there last night to judge the... Uh, performance but uh, going off what my dad was saying it wasn't the greatest um and i've seen like other youtubers other blues uh channels that i follow as well so if you don't follow some of the other blues channels which are really good as well i highly recommend that you watch them there's loads of channels blues focus dave house diary keep right on tv uh block 39 uh spyro birmingham on tiktok uh keep right on on instagram there's so many guys um chatting blues as well that i'll do some podcasts with yet yeah, there's loads of uh blues channels and um i think i've subscribed to pretty much every one of them but yeah they have said like a similar sort of comment you know there wasn't like a lot of fight uh in the cardiff game but i can't judge that because i wasn't there i was at work but yeah uh some interesting points there mate 50 years of uh supporting the blues fair play um if we go down, at least the club's in safe hands. Whatever happens, we will bounce back. Keep right on, Stephen. On 55, this is Andrew. So I've seen many a uh, dark time. I felt about five games ago that we were going down, but hoped I'd be wrong, but I am prepared for the worst. I guess it's come down to now that we have to beat Rotherham and Huddersfield and maybe pick up a point at both Coventry and Norwich and hope two of the teams do worse than us in their last four games. Can't believe that we have ended up in this position. But yeah, next season, whichever league, at least we are looking at a virtually whole new squad and uh, yeah, a new attitude. And Blues till death. Yeah, 100%, mate. No matter what league we're in, up the Blues, keep right on. I'll be keeping right on until the end and praying this team scrape through with a couple of wins. Michael. Poor side, unfortunately. We are going down to the third division. Players looked laboured, lacking confidence. A terrible season. It has been a crazy season. Six managers, uh, including the standing managers as well. It's just been absolutely insane. We've literally gone from one half of the table to the other half. It's just absolutely mad. I mean, I can't believe we're second from bottom. He's just, I just can't believe it. And, you know, it's not what people are saying. You know, like on paper. We've got a really good squad, but we're just not producing. And then we've got these fantastic owners, and it's just not in line. It's just like, that's what I've said. You know, my emotions have been pulled from pillar to post this season. It's just been absolutely uh, horrendous. Non-stop, we showed no passion. We had no leaders on the pitch. The team is lightweight and weak. We have no powerful big striker to help Jay. I said when Rooney took over that we will now struggle to stay in this league. I was right, keep right on. Yeah. 
Jay on his own ain't working. That four-two-three-one formation is not working with these players and this style. Um, to suit the style for this squad, it's Jay's a brilliant uh, forward, I think, and I'd love to sign him permanently. I think it'd be a great signing, but you know he can't do it on his own. He's, you know, he's only a young kid, so it's a lot of pressure as well. You know, uh, reading his statement and everything else, it's just it's just a lot for him. Uh, Gary Rowett takes no blame for this abysmal. Uh, abysmal performance it's down to once again the players as far as I'm concerned do not care about the club the fans four games left four defeats now spine keep right on Joe Swift well done Gary Cook Chris Whittle I am saddened but we have League One written all over us shit season now body up front with Jay Stansfield Coventry City will frighten me to be honest I'm a bit nervous about Saturday but I'm going to remain positive Football can be unpredictable sometimes, and I have tried to be positive all season just because, you know, I'm not going to dwell on it. I love the club, like, regardless, you know. I mean, obviously, shit when Blues lose, it's shit when Blues play, but, I'm, you know, I ain't the kind of person that's just going to keep fucking dwelling on it. I'm just trying to be positive. Uh, roll on summer and the clear out of the players in who will wear the shirt. Yeah, it's a great comment. Go Swift. That's it. I've seen enough to know we can't survive in this league now. Relegation is a certainty. The players lack ability and desire. And Gary Rowett's post-match interview gave me the impression he is a beaten man. Like others have tried, he can't get a tune out of these gutless wonders. If a side sits in and look to hit us on the break, we can't get through them. And invariably get sucker punched when, not if, we present them with a chance. My overriding emotion right now is anger. Uh, Frank, if Coventry were to offer no resistance on, on, on Saturday, Blues would still not beat them. We need to start from scratch. I can't see any players good enough to build a team around. I think that certain players gave up weeks ago as regards to the new stadium complex. Anyone for tennis? <laughs> It's just mad, isn't it? I mean, you know, like, this is massive. I mean, Tom Wagner has even said himself that this is going to be bigger than, like, what Man City have got, like, in Tottenham, and it's all within, like, walking distance. So, I mean, if my boss said to me, right, you're going to have a, a brand-new maintenance shop, you're going to have all brand-new tools, tool chests, uh, all-new safety gear, you know, I'm pretty sure that 99.9% .9 of the people at work are going to, Graph twice as hard, you know, it's something to look forward to, you know, to impress. And I just, I don't know if it's nerves or like if they have given up or they're just not interested, I just don't know. Um, even if you sound beaten, mate, we are not good enough. Why bring in midfielders when we needed strikers and defence? Yeah, defence has been a massive problem. It, it hasn't been right since John Eustace has gone, has it? Uh, let's be honest, I don't know what's gone on at the back, but. We are down and we will struggle to attract any players. Long struggle to get out of League One, brother. But never mind. We are Blues always. Keep right on. Butchie J. It was hard to watch last night. We have no options in the final third. Cardiff knew. I just sat deep and said, come on then. Get past us if you can. We couldn't. Need a miracle now. But we keep right on till the end. Lee Gavin, loving your channel, mate. You always talk a lot of sense and yet I'm with you, can't. Wait for this season to be over, mate. I oh, know. Tell me about it. It's just been so frustrating. And you're right, pal. These players are missing the boat. Keep up the good work. Lee, thank you very much for the comment, mate. This is why I love doing this because I love bringing us together. I love talking about Blues. I'm passionate about it just as everybody else. This channel isn't about me, it's about us. I love you, Blue Nowsies. Keep right on. Uh, Richard Williams. Um, these players have let this club down. These are my thoughts. Ruddy can't get down quick enough now. Shots close to him on the ground will beat him every time. Laird has lost his early season effectiveness. Ayu at the top of his ability at this level. Sanderson should not be captain. Fails to motivate the team. Two laid back needs more fist pumping. Yeah, I agree uh, with that one. I think he's... Uh, He's not vocal enough on the pitch, but Sam again, whether it's confidence thing, nerves or what, or I just don't know. Um, McCannon, uh, one of the ones I'd keep but needs more support. Pake, 
needs a rest. Too many wasteful passes. He was he was billed as having a rocket shot on him. Where is it? Bielik. Oh, I've lost it. For a big bloke, goes down miles too easy. Needs to show more bite and grit. Should be dominating midfield. Bakuna. There is a player in there that totally lacks self-motivation. Um, relies too much on other players. And to do the graft, James, he's already left the club in his head. Been really ineffective in the last few games. Miyoshi, one to keep. Yeah, totally agree. Needs more support. Can find runners when and if someone shows. Stansfield needs more support. Cannot keep playing up on his own up front. Needs to play off someone yet. Yeah, totally agree. I've been saying that on the last few podcasts. But what I don't understand is Blues have got one of the best reputations in the in the academy. You know, massive and not. Not only have we had all the news with the open house and that uh, on the open house they even said that all the under 18s and 21s and whatever else they've all had the first professional contracts and you got players like Dixon banging in goals left right and centre. Why aren't they playing some of these youth players that have you know won a fight for the shirt to try and get the career like kick starting? I think it'd be really good, you know. And when Rooney like implemented um, Ramel Donovan into the squad, you know, I thought he was really good. His work rate's really good. Um, you know, I was really impressed with the kid. So, uh, why on earth are not using some of these young players? I do not know. And if you watch, I can't remember what game it was now, but Ruddy was saying, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are, where you are, if you have to do your bit to step up and help the club, then yeah. So, I mean, even he's saying this, and I've said this in another video before, you know, why aren't we playing some of these young um Upcoming stars, you know, I just don't get it. The systems we are playing doesn't suit the players we have. I'd go straight forward 4 4 2 and keep it simple. We seem too scared to have a go or make a mistake. I'd rather lose and have a real go than lose uh, with a whimper last night. We've always had battling qualities, if not out and out of skill. But more important element is sadly missing from this team, Pritchard. Must play from now on. Showed some bottle to have a go when he came on. Roberts worth a try to support Stansfield. Gardner, instead of Bakuna, for a bit more bite and aggression. I hope with all my heart that we can do it, but it's a big ask from where we are now. Um, I was there at the game last night. I've said it all along. These players are not good enough to play this system. I felt that there was no urgency to go forward by the defence, which caused the game to go slow and miss lots of opportunities to try and score. A very frustrating night. Of boring football. I can't see where we will score any goals from this lineup. Players have to pick a good look. Players bloody hell. Give me words out in a mini. Players have to have a good look at themselves as it's down to them on the pitch. Uh Jordan <clears throat> same as usual, Jay. Cannot finish. Lots of positives from the play yesterday, but as soon as we went 1-0 down, there was no fight or desire there. The atmosphere was good for a very long time, but crowd got very impatient, and I cannot blame them. We did our usual playing back when there was no space to pass, um, to side, sides to pass. Bloody hell, I can't get me bloody words out this morning. <laughs> um Kuzak, Spectre, Shotton, Morrison, Grounds, Cotterill, uh, Kifton Beld, Gleason, Davis, Dukey, and Donaldson. That was Rowich's last team before he was sacked. Men, every single one of them, played with fight, spirit, heart, passion, unlike what we have witnessed over the last few weeks and last night. It was not only a disaster, but uh, embarrassing to watch. Us Blues fans don't mind losing after a battle, but to lose in that manner was a step too far for even the most ardent supporter. Um, Lord Tunifee, we should have had um, a debt net striker seasons ago, and they have dragged their feet with shite, to be honest. Hannah, it's crazy uh, the position you're in compared to the beginning of the season, 100%. 
you're right. Uh, the grass isn't always greener when football is this way. It's so mentally draining. And as a Leeds fan, I understand very well over the years. I do hope you stay up. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much, Hannah. Uh, Craig, we are going down. Who gives a fuck? We'll win the league and come back up. <laughs> I like it, mate. And kick the fuck out of Villa as well. <laughs> um, Tony Hunt. Uh, it's not It's not over till it's over, boy in blue. As we know, he's now very well indeed. We're after a decent team performance, but awful in and around their box, but no one able to put anything between menacing their sticks. It's moved us from possible to probable. Keep right on from Canada. Just my fish. This team has no balls, no spine, no passion. They are going down with a whimper like a little girl lost in the dark. Liam Hunter, I can't I can't wait to get an entire new squad. Don't even care if they're young unknown players. And we're in League One. Get get another team to watch. Milton JM91. Cardiff game was the final nail. Uh John, the club players are all to blame for this situation. Uh Asa. Wish we was playing Bolton away in last match. Was that? We're down, mate. Just not good enough. We should have brought in a striker and centre-half in January. Everyone was calling for it, but we brought in midfielders instead. The table doesn't lie. We are shite. <laughs> Stephen, I said it all season 4-4-2. Peter, uh, this isn't a popular, but I didn't think for one minute that Rowett was going to work. I've seen nothing from Rowett's game management that would change my mind. Uh, Bernard, still think that we will get out of it, but only 70% confident now. Seven points needed, maybe even five or six possible points. Keep right on. Coventry draw, Rotherham win, Huddersfield draw, and then Norwich, who have nothing to play for as well, being the playoffs, so who could win? Uh, Patrick, keep right on to League One. Uh, funny enough, this guy loves to comment on my videos recently. I've done a little bit of digging and uh, found out that he is a Villa fan. Um, looking on his channel, he's got a very oddly saved playlist. And one of the videos that I found really interesting was how to cook a stew. Mate, cooking a stew is one of the most basic meals to cook. If you can't cook a stew, you are fucked. I was peeling spuds and swede from the age of four, helping my nan. I'm that good now that I can close my eyes and peel them with my feet. <laughs> um, David Taylor, all out of attack. Football five at the front. Let's go out with the blaze of glory. Dean, we should be playing 4-4-2. Bakuna was terrible. Lord Tinifi, I called it when we had Rooney after years of bad owners. We got relegated with the new two ones. If it does come down to it, I'm sure we will bounce back stronger. Keep right on. Craig, as much as I blame the players, Gardner has a lot to answer for. Why sign three midfielders in January when we need a centre-back and a striker? Brian dead. Gary Johnson, I said that they were awful chap. The awful squad are dragging the club into League One. They all need sacking. Cardiff didn't even have to try. Ricky Harris, I only caught the last 15 minutes, mate, of the match. When I got in from work, the only player who showed energy had a go was Hogan when he came on. He was coming back, making tackles and winning them. I was like, come on, Scotty. I'd start him Saturday, 4 4 2. Uh, Dembele, left winger, but he's got a graft. And Miyoshi, right wing, the middle, either Pike or James or Pike and Pritchard at the back. If fit play Sanderson and Mark Roberts, the players got to show passion. It's no good then asking the fans to be loud and cheer us on when they ain't doing much. It hurts, mate. And everything falls to and on the players now. Saturday for me will tell us everything. It's a must win game and they got to give everything for a result. Uh, Patrick again. Uh, just keep learning how to cook your stew, mate. mate I don't know what you've been eating like the last few years, like fucking pig's ears and pedigree tins or what. <laughs> um, 
La, I'm still confident they will stay up. It will be a coin flip on other teams in this league. Uh, predictions for me are Birmingham 1, uh, Coventry 2, Huddersfield 1, Birmingham 3, Rotherham 0, Birmingham 2, Birmingham 1 and uh, Norwich 1. Trevor Johnson, great video as always, Jay. Cheers, Trev. Uh, absolutely gutted the club uh, has got the best owners ever. The future looks amazing for the club, but the players on the pitch last night. Lack spark, fight and passion. Acuna would impress us more if he just passed the ball instead of thinking he's Ronaldo or Messi. Just simply not and never will be free kick. What ended up in Rosie? Where is the passion? So pissed off, mate. Keep right on our kid. Keep right on, Trev. Uh, I know, mate. It's uh, just mad, in it? It is crazy. I want to slag the life out of the players. This is Mark. But I also want to try to build them up somehow. I'm not sure um, which will put a rocket up their arses. Also, we just need to get the prep. Uh, we need to get to the Prem in five years. So one year down, one year back in the Championship. And then the Prem, uh, if that's going to happen, which it could well do, of the right players, can't we just all pack out the ground and go for it for fuck's sake? Uh, people need to realise what's coming, relegation or not. Mark, need a 4-4-2. Said it from the Rooney days, we're nothing without two strikers and we've proved it every single time, and every single game. Wake up. Uh, Lee Harvey, good to see you again, Lee. Uh, last night was embarrassing, mate. Why the fuck did we take off Jordan James, best player on the pitch? Makes no sense. Fucking fuming. Fuming. Cardiff were there for taking all the game. No shape, no passion. Sick of saying it. We need to play two up front for fuck's sake. <laughs> Look, one up. Don't work yet. We've said it, mate. That 4 2 3 1 formation isn't working. This has. This has been the reality for the last three months. Uh, this is Darren. Just wanted to ignore uh, the facts and sit in your own denial, bro. Um, Andy, honestly not worried at all. Apparently the financial difference is small between the two divisions. We are nowhere uh, near ready for the Premier League anyway. Great away days in the 90s in the lower divisions, but it was Barry Fry and really uh, an attacking side. What, what we would do for... Lourdanoa on the wing and uh, Wardy running the midfield now. Might be a chance to clear out and a completely fresh start. When United won the treble in 99, City were just getting out of the second division and training in a school gym. Two light goals against Gillingham uh, in the playoffs got them promoted. Leeds have been through it after financial collapse, so don't worry. We will still keep right on. And last comment is Dave. All the Rasmataz counts for nothing. Typical Hollywood. No one asked for or wanted a new stadium. What fans want is a winning team. There were the investments should be in the players. Wrong priorities. Show bizarre for football. This is England, not the US. The sporting culture is totally different. So, yeah, Blue Noses, thank you very much for your comments. It was really interesting and uh, great feedback. But yeah, don't forget to reply and uh, get your comments in for the questions that I asked at the start of the video. Um, sorry, it took me so long to read these comments. I'm really tired. I've just done a night shift as well. And um, yeah, I haven't long learned to read. <laughs> um, but yeah, now, um, yeah, great stuff, Blue Noses. And if you like what you see and you love the blues like I do, then please uh, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Keep right on and up the blues.